Um, this goes back to Germany and um, <clears throat> and Jewish people, whatever. They're diamond specialists, or the specialists that were that were Jewish that were diamond specialists. It goes way back in time <clears throat> to the first polishing plates and me and stuff that I was paying for, selling stuff that I invented a long time ago. And yes, um, the first polishing plate. I forget what it was, uh, and it, what it, what I was really doing is I was trying to do a material test on the on the uh, on the metal that was actually being done, and diamonds were the hardest thing. No, and so I thought, well, we'll scratch it with diamonds, um, and it polished it or whatever. <clears throat> um, when they say it takes, it took a year to polish a diamond. More like we were testing out the the metal for a year. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of confusing. It ha has to do with my, with, with what I was doing, blah, blah, blah. And I forget, I think I was manufacturing, I think we were trying to manufacture diamonds or trying to manufacture harder substances or something like that. It has to do with the special, my special people uh, or, or special research that was going on and what I was having researched and paying to be researched, um, with harder substances and diamonds and also creating diamonds through nuclear explosions or shockwaves, you know, using four nuclear bombs to create diamonds, um, um, at a center point <laughs> or large, large, large explosives. We tried a, quite a few different explosives to make big, to, to compress matter. Basically we were trying to compress matter. Um, and this happened long ago, and actually also making like like different kinds of harder substances, like I believe cubic zirconium or whatever. All the different manufactured diamonds, basically, all that all that research was being done by my people, by me, by my group, whatever group that was. Like I said, when I was working with them or paying, I was paying them basically, and I lost track of where they went <laughs> or what they're what they're doing now. But basically, um, I was an integral part in giving the world diamonds at one point in time, way, way long ago. Um, be, when the, when, before the, the world had diamonds or cubic zirconian or any stones at all, um, I was paying for harder sub substances, uh, harder materials. And um, diamonds, and they were working on creating some stuff that was harder. So... Um, I'm not exactly sure if diamonds are truly natural or if they're actually all created or created in different ways. Uh, some of the ways to create diamonds, I believe, are really, really hard or at least what's considered top secret and only my groups, which are we're actually or are, are actually doing it, know about how to do it um, or, you know, that kind of stuff. They, it's possible they're manufactured 100%. In fact, all of them probably are manufactured, especially if you can melt them. If you can melt a diamond, you can make a diamond. It's just a matter of how. And um, and I was paying for that research and paying for them to be created. I was trying to create the hardest substances, substance known to mankind and all that. So anyway, I guess uh, 100,000 or whatever years, whatever, I Anyway, they're very pretty to look at, and mostly for the industrial, in, industrial applications. You know, some high, some some kinds of metals need some really really high, um, uh, what's called temperatures. So you need stuff that can withstand that. And when you get up to those kind of kind of temperatures, well, s certain things won't actually hold up, while other things will. So um, you know, you have to manufacture that stuff. So anyway, it goes into, it's basically all about metal, metallurgy and metalworking and making harder substances and the hardest substances and all that kind of stuff and all the things I was paying for being done. And then, you know, later on thinking, well, let's go ahead and offer it to the public and stuff like glass and stuff like that. And then people can buy it. But some of these things are very hard to make and very expensive to make. So, and require like lots, massive amounts of energy or massive amounts of heat or something very, 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 very unique. Um, and I forget ex the exact proce process I used to know, of course. But um, anyway, uh, that was back way, way long ago. And, you know, later on, I'm like, well, let's just offer it to the public and see if anybody will buy it. I don't know why anybody would buy a stone that just looks pretty, but hey, maybe they will. And apparently people do. So, because it looks pretty, ooh. Mostly it's really, really, really hard to make them. So, 
or find them or whatever. <laughs> I think they're made. I don't know. Especially if if you can melt one with a torch, then you can probably make one. So, anyway, I don't know. But <laughs> they're like, oh, it's made hundreds of years ago. There's only so many of them. It's like, well, <laughs> not exactly. Sorry to burst your bubble about that. Um, so, anyway, uh, yeah, they're just really hard to make. And very expensive. Um, anyway, though, part of the research, part of the paying for the research, and who I am. I love inventing and paying for things to be invented, and I did a lot in long, long, long ago past. And now more or less people have forgotten or covered it up. So anyway. Um, a person of legend, uh, Lucifer the inventor, Lucifer purveyor of all, um, Jesus, Brian, doesn't really matter my name, you know, I was always the same person. Um, inventor. I invented a lot of things myself. Long, 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 long ago. Before, before, before. Before there was an Imperial Palace. Before there was, when Jade was just being discovered. When all things were just being discovered. Um, I was there. Inventing, uh, or helping to invent, uh, fishnets. Fishing. Um, um hides um leather leather technology leather tanning like like when before the world had leather tanning uh leather leather really leather products um i was in an integral part or paying for or being a part of inventing it myself or whatever um and now people say thousands of years have passed it's like well whatever i don't know <laughs> the world was a lot simpler back then and and like before there were, were were like massive amounts of food or crops you know back when back when things just basically grew wild in some places and didn't grow other places you know back when when the world wasn't really civilized before roads before before mass transit before there were even were, were any roads you know, before Rome, basically. Um, you know, people say Genghis Khan did this, Genghis Khan did that. Uh, I don't, I'm not exactly sure if there ever was anybody bigger than me. Um, maybe Genghis Khan worked for me, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure I was the most massively wealthy, massively advanced person ever, 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 ever. Built the Colosseum, um, you know, the arrows, you know, gave Indians arrows basically or you know were a part of was a part of that um you know creating civilization uh, i was a part of that so you know forming america naming america creating aircraft um perfecting the technology to fly um ships sails everything um i love problems and i love solving them and I loved working with people. So, and then when it when it, when when it came comes to me and problems, I I ate them up, and 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 just I love them. You know, it was it was always fun for me, and um, you know, it gave me wealth, I guess, or at least popularity. You know, every pro every problem was was a solution waiting to be found. So.